I like uh, PDF documents uh, for, well, one of the main reasons is that you can actually use them for very, very small documents or very large documents and anything in between. Of course, you can use PNG, GIF, etc. But uh, PDF documents are very useful, certainly for uh, vector designs. And uh, well, you can also, of course, convert the uh, PDF documents to uh, PNG or GIF, etc. by using, uh, well, just by file save. If once you've actually opened the document or using uh, a batch conversion process, you can find many free applications on the web that can convert uh, documents as well. Anyway, what I've done, actually, I've created a selection of heart designs, and they're actually on a, the heart page on the Graphic Extras site, uh, a selection of 12 free designs that you can uh, go and check out and use in Photoshop or PaintShop Pro or PhotoPaint. I'm certain there's a load more Illustrator comes to mind. But uh, they're, anyway... 12 different designs. I'm just going to quickly show you how to use them in uh, Photoshop. And this is on a Mac, but uh, can be on a PC as well. So I'm just going to go over now to Photoshop, uh, Photoshop CS6, but uh, same for CS5, etc. Right, just going to go to the open command, and you will see them there. You can also use the file place. That's another, it may be even better. So I'm just going to use the file place command. I'm just going to uh, select, select that design place and it comes up with a sort of fairly basic dialogue place PDF and it uh, will show a little display you can actually make it a bit bigger obviously fit page see that and then you can click OK brings it in and you can resize the document just resize it slightly there and one thing you notice straight away is that it comes in as a smart object and um, which mean, means that you can resize, you can uh, manipulate it, pi, apply smart filters, etc. Uh, and the underlying design is still unaffected. So you can change the design, um, maybe in Illustrator or other applications, and then bring it back into uh, Photoshop for further work. Right, I'm just going to show you some of the other examples. And in this selection, uh, it's just other, other designs. They're all basic sort of... Uh, using the same sort of uh, heart design, sort of rough heart design. Actually created using the wonderful uh, Astute uh, plugin that's uh, with Scribe. I uh, really recommend that plugin. Check it and check out that one. It's uh, from Astute Software and uh, it's for Illustrator. And it can just manipulate uh, the beautiful stroke uh, or strokes uh, in numerous ways. And uh, it's very, very powerful uh, uh, plugin. Uh, and many other options as well with it, selections and things. So, but it's worth checking out, and that's uh, the basic the main plugin that I use to actually create this sort of sort of rough edged stroke around the side of all these uh, hearts. And I'm just going to quickly open this one, just quickly show you that one as well. Uh, it comes up with a different when you do an open. It actually, comes weirdly. It comes in with a import PDF, which you would think would be open PDF, and the other one would actually be import. But anyway. Who knows the, the thinking on the, what the name's above. But again, so you can select the size. You can set all the various size. And you can set it, obviously, to be a huge document. I'm not going to do that much because I, I really don't want to create a huge... And I'm just going to set the size and just opens a new one. And like I say, you've got this sort of random side edged heart design that you can create. And you can create, obviously, a vast number of... sort of gives it more rough... sort. Of, dynamic sort of design so uh, anyway that's one another one of the heart designs that comes in the uh, this free pack which you can find on the graphic extras website and there's of course hundreds of other uh, pdf documents as well as png etc so just going to go back to the other one now now this is I say it's a layer so you can actually of course you can maybe if you want you can duplicate a layer so you don't have to just go with one you can just create another copy of it which you can then shift move around Resize again, it's a smart object, exactly the same, so it's unaffected by just resizing, which is really good. And you can apply effects, of course, you can go to the layer, layer style, and you can add a shadow, or you can add a color over the top of the whole design. Of course, you lose some of that, so change that to normal, reduce down, and change whole heaps of things. So color, reduce that down. So you can actually see the underline just by changing the blend mode and the opacity. That's another way of doing that. So 
virtually infinite sort of things you can do with them. You can just go now to the filter and you can apply different filter effects, say box. Click OK at that point. And again, the good thing about it, again, smart smart object, so they've got smart filters, you can then alter the, the actual heart design at a later point so you don't have to stick with thing you can resize it will apply the effects again very quick and easy and it's all because of basically being a pdf document really useful format and certainly worth checking out if you want to let's say vector designs within photoshop